Uh, to decide what charities to give my money to, um, I normally like to speak to someone who works for the charity um, because I think you can get the best impression of what they're about by actually speaking to a person involved. But they usually are quite good at describing what they do on their websites. Um, for me to decide upon a charity, I think it's one that tends to affect people I know around me so that I feel I can make a difference and help the people that I like and love. I think I prefer to give money to charities that I'm personally involved in or have friends or family that are part of because then I kind of have a connection to that charity. I would give money to certain charities based upon whether what they're collecting for has had a direct effect on me. For example, one of my friends has had a certain illness and I've been giving money to that charity ever since. I have raised money for a charity. I once spent a day raising money for an environmental charity at my school. Uh, we sold cakes and held events such as raffles uh, to make money uh, and it was a good fun day. Um, I have done a fundraising event for a health charity um, in which um, children from the local village and many helpers um, did a bake sale and put on a performance for the people in the village um, which would raise money to send to that charity. I've actually done a lot of fundraising for different charities. Um, so I did some with cancer charities and disaster charities and what I did was fun runs with my school I helped to organise and things like cake sales and I also did um, a few summers of door-to-door -door fundraising which was fantastic. I have raised money for charity before. Me and a few of my friends went to our local shop dressed in a fancy dress and sung Christmas carols, uh, f raising money for the care home for the elderly. And it was a lot of fun and we raised quite a lot of money. I think the best ways to raise money for charities is human interaction. So face-to-face -face, um, because people react much better to being able to talk to another human being than just to an advert on television which you can just turn off or ignore um, and it's much easier to explore issues and get a sense of the human element of charity if you're actually talking to another person. For me personally I think the best way to raise money for charities is to put on events for local towns and cities um, this way people are more prepared to spend more money for the charity because they don't happen very often. Personally, from my experience of raising money for charity, I think that the best way is when you can actually get people involved in the charity. So it's not just about their money, it's actually about them personally investing in what the charity's doing and, and helping in a more direct way. I think that the best way to raise money is to make sure that your campaign is in the public eye as much as possible so that people are aware of it. I think harassing people on the street should be avoided as a form of charity fundraising just because it doesn't really make sense to bully people into donating money to a positive organisation. Um, but on the other hand, I do think that interacting with people is very important in raising awareness of charity. Um, for me personally, I don't think there are any bad ways to raise money for charities. Um, any money that is raised is very important and people who put the effort in to raise money are doing a very good thing for these charities. However, we have to make sure that all the proceeds that are raised do eventually go to the charity. Yeah, I think that the type of charity fundraising that should be avoided is aggressive fundraising because I don't think it's very ethical and I think it undermines the aim of the charity in the first place really, especially when there are vulnerable people involved, which sadly is the case. No, I think as long as you're trying to raise money for a good purpose, it's always okay.